So I'm going to, again, press record. I'm going to hold down the second button, and they flash. I'm going to take OxFi, which is my downstage monitor one, and I'm going to, let's say, uh, take the Graphics A machine. In the middle, downstage monitor two, let's say that's going to be prompter. So I'm going to put prompter there as well. And then in the downstage monitor three, I'm going to put Graphics A uh, as well. A very common uh, downstage monitor configuration that we see often. I'm going to hit the Make button again. And then I'm going to hit the flashing destination two. And now I can, by punching these two macros, I can punch between black and the configuration with the graphics A and prompter macro that I made. So I'll make another one, let's say that is going to be all prompter. Uh, again, with the make button on, hit record. Uh, push the destination button that you want, which is the third one over that I'm going to use for this one. I'm going to go to DSM-1, which is AUX-5. Punch in prompter. And make sure also that you're, you're punching in on the key bus or the, uh, the source row, this second row right here. A lot of people often just think that if they hit the source on the program bus, that that's actually taking it, and it's not. It's taking that to the program bus. It's not taking it uh, to the AUXs. So again, I'm going to go to 6 and go to prompter, and then 7 and go to prompter. So all three of my downstage monitors are in prompter. I'm going to hit the make button again, and I'm going to hit the flashing destination number three. And now I have three macros. I have black, I have the combination of graphics A and prompter, and then I have all prompter. I also wanted to demonstrate that you can record as a macro any of the buttons that are on the LCD screen, such as play, reverse, any button that you push while you are recording a macro. So I'll show you, for example, uh, how to record play on the LCD screen whenever you're, say, in a DPM move and you want, you want that DPM uh, to play. So again, you need to be in the make mode and I'm going to hit record right here, and I'm going to hold down, which I'm going to record right here. And you see, the, you see that it's flashing. I'm going to go up here to the LCD screen, and I'm just the only thing I'm going to punch in right here is play. And then you'll see the DPM do its little move. And I'm going to go back down here hit make again and it's still it's flashing there telling me to go ahead and, and enter I enter it and now I've recorded the play well that's that's great but I needed I need to have a, a reverse as well so I'm going to record the reverse button by hitting record in another empty spot there for a macro go back up here to the LCD screen I'm going to hit reverse play and it reverses the DPM move I'm going to go back down here to the button, hit make, and then hit the destination button again. So now I've got a, I've got a, I've got a forward play and I've got a reverse play for this DPM move that I have created. So it looks something like that. You push the button, it goes forward, you push the button, and it goes back. And that is a basic overview of setting up, writing, and saving macros.